Alright, what's up everybody? This is Super Owl88 bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops commentary. Ooh, that's loud, I gotta turn that down. So, I asked I asked a couple times what you guys thought, and a couple guys responded saying it's okay if I put a little tryhard game out. So, this score, surprisingly, you think because I use this gun would be amazing. But no, no, the, the only reason I made I made this class pretty quick, actually, I made it like right in the pre game lobby. The dude I was playing the dude I was playing with I had one guy in my party at this point, and he had a friend playing split screen. We we're all in the same room, and his friend wasn't that great. So basically, I didn't really have a full team whatsoever, and the guys we were playing against knew what they were doing. They beat us the game before. I was getting kind of mad. I stopped in the beginning because I was only going to use this class to try to get first blood at first. And then I realized that I'm really going to need because they were capturing flags the whole time. So I needed a sprinting class with a powerful gun, so I put this thing on. And, yeah, it was a close game, and I'm very proud of this win. My final score, I think I get, like, I don't know, I get 50-something kills and 13 deaths, so it wasn't amazing. But, um, yeah, I was running around, and I was playing super hardcore objective. At, at the end there, it, it almost looks like there's no way we can win, but I get a chopper gun, and we keep him triple cap, and it's a pretty intense game overall. So, please, uh... Let me know if you don't want to see any more AK-74U. I know, I've seen plenty of it, but I just got this game, and I, I, when I started this game out, and I chose this class, I'm like, okay, there's no way I'm posting this. I'm doing this just to win. But it was a, it was a really close game, and I was, we were trying to cap flags and defend flags the entire game. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be, I think it's pretty good, but, yeah, once again, let me know if you never want to see this gun again on my channel, because I can make that happen. That would, that would be no problem. So essentially, I want to talk a little bit about the quality. You guys all, anyone that's been watching my channel for the last a few days or whatever since Christmas, is now I got my HD PVR, and essentially I'm recording. The, I recorded this in 1080i because the cables got all. They like I don't know my my cables I bought or something didn't want to handle 1080p. So 1080i, it, it's perfectly fine for YouTube. Any of you guys that actually care about the difference between 1080 and 1080p for your YouTube watching, it's something wrong with you. But what I what I found was wrong, so I, I, I watch these videos and they come out in great quality and then I put them through Sony Vegas Pro 9 and I apparent, I'm, I'm hitting the wrong render settings or something, so if you guys know what the best render settings for me is, please let me know, because I'm recording them, they look, I'm looking at it great right now and then it goes on YouTube and it doesn't look as good, so... Um, tell me that for next time. Also, if you guys have an HD PVR, let me know your recording settings, because I think there's a few settings I can mess around with in there that may affect how my overall video looks as well. Because, I mean, my laptop isn't the greatest. It was only about $500, which is... It, it's new, but it's not, like, amazing. It's not a desktop. It's just a laptop, and it's a Dell, so it's not... Nothing too great in terms of, like, how what it can process and whatnot, but it decent, it's decent, it's working great, so uh, yeah, let me know what settings I should use overall, because I want my videos to look good, and what, my videos I don't think will ever look the, get, the best unless I get some crazy desktop in the future, but yeah, um, I am curious, so a uh, little bit about this, I think I'm using Marathon Lightweight, just because I put those on, just because I need to run around a whole bunch in my middle perk. Oh, let me see. Yep, it's sleight of hand. I couldn't tell until I reloaded there, but I don't know. Sleight of hand's kind of my go-to second perk without stopping power in the game. I've always loved second uh, sleight of hand, so yeah. That's what I'm using. What else was I gonna say? Okay, yeah. So let me know. I got this great idea for a series I do, and it might it might be a series that continues throughout my channel's career and throughout all Call of Duties. Basically, what I think I'm doing, I'm gonna record myself. And I create a class, like right before I go into a game, I'm gonna record myself, like creating a class. Basically, I'm gonna shut my eyes and randomize all the perks, all the guns, all the equipment. I'm gonna randomize everything, all the attachments. So you might get a, uh, you might, who knows, maybe I'll get a try hard class, or maybe I'll get a completely random class. Yesterday, um, I got a couple. People requested me to go knife only, so I was I was trying to use a ballistic knife only. And my final scores were not that great, and then I don't I don't even know if I went positive yesterday. I was playing mercenary team deathmatch by myself. I played three games, two of them were ballistic knife only, and the other one I 
I really don't know what I was thinking, but I tried to use the FAL with infrared sight, and that wasn't too good, as you could imagine, but I was, I don't know, I'm just having fun. I like using things that no one else uses, because they suck. Just things like, I don't even know why they put in the game, like, no one, I don't think, is ever gonna take advantage of an infrared sight on an assault rifle, or some of the random guns you can put on them. It's kind of like how you can put a ACOG or Thermal on the SMGs, and... Modern Warfare 2, like there were a couple of them, like an MP5K thermal that would, that's disgusting. Actually, I don't know if they had that thermal, I know they had the P90, and there were a couple of them that were just like, bad, bad guns. But anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that for a series, and then also doing some live commentaries with, um, zombies, so, yeah. I haven't gotten to, I got a couple feedback from watching zombies, but... I have not, I think I played it once on solo, and that was before I knew about all the running in circle tactics that you use, I was just trying to hold down a room, and yeah, so let me know about that, it might, I think I'll do a couple zombies in the next month or so, but uh, some of them will probably be better than the other, I'll post whatever I get, I can get to around 3, I'll post that, and then just do another one, just because it was so bad, but um, anyway, I think, I think I'm going to do zombies, I think I might do that random class, series, and then I might just use some more wager mode. The more wager mode with live commentaries, because you guys said you'd like my reactions when I got tomahawked. A couple of guys sent me messages saying that. I don't even know why I was, sorry, I stopped talking. So I have no idea why I revived that guy. Act, oh, oh, I completely remember. Normally, I see people on my team, and they're talking to me, and I'm like, they're like, revive me, revive me. I'm like, why don't you just stop using noob stand? I don't know, noob stand is second chance or last stand if you guys didn't know. But um yeah, generally I don't I don't even like when my teams use cheap things like that. No one likes second chance, so I really hate when my team came on there for two. I would I would get so mad at my teammates for noob tubing, because once my team starts noob tubing, then the other team's gonna get pissed off. They're gonna start noob tubing, it's not fun for anyone, so I generally don't like when my own teammates are using something cheap. I mean I don't really care if they're using like an overpowered gun, but something something like a cheap perk or explosive is kinda lame. But the reason I revived that guy is because he was two feet away from the flag and I told him that if I revive you you're gonna cap this with me and he helped and we got all three of them. But yeah, right now it's uh, 114 to 147, so it's kind of, for the rest of the game, it, it pretty much looks like we're not going to win, and I don't know, spoiler alert, we do win, we do win, that's why I'm posting this, obviously, I'm not going to post an AK-74 game where I lose, how embarrassing would that be, but, um, yeah, what was I going to say next, so my third prestige went by pretty fast, if you guys, I mentioned in one video I had, I spent the day slash night at my friend's house, and I went from level 46, second prestige, to level 40, third prestige in a game. Haven't really played since that last, the beginning of last weekend, like last Wednesday or Thursday. I didn't really play all weekend on Christmas or anything, but I had a few games. And anyway, tomorrow I am going to my cousin's for what should be... Well, it should be two nights, but it might only be one night, and he has a PS3, and I play on his HD monitor, so I might be getting a lot of, a lot of games at his house, hopefully, I'm kind of excited for that, I will, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to get that basic knife, tomahawk, whatever you want, knife and only game, or only new blade style, which is kind of surprised people actually want to see that, just cause, you know, the only use me blade has posted so many videos of it, but, Maybe people just want to see me trying to do it. I'm not... I actually had a couple of really good games. Like, they were at my friend's house playing split screen. I put them in his file share, so I might be able to post those. Not sh I actually haven't rewatched it yet to know if it's that interesting. And I might actually end up taking out my primary in that. But, um, for the most part, I am... Yeah, I'm just using that. Sorry, my mom just tried to walk in my room. I tried to... I used the or not, but I might have gotten a few kills on my some machine gun, so I have not been amazing. A tech machine, I forgot I got that. I think I only get one kill with it, so don't get too excited that I got a death machine. Wow, I kind of came into this. Anyway, so, yep, I'm gonna probably get a knife only game. I'm gonna try to get a couple games, I think. Even without you guys' opinions, I think you're gonna like the idea of this series, Random Classes. Basically, when I played a uh, split screen in Modern Warfare 2, near the last couple months, we really got nothing to do. We were 
board, quick stall on board, and try hard to do So we were doing that random class thing, so I got some pretty disgusting weapon combinations in that game. But, so I'm hoping I get, I hoping I do the same for me, because I, I really don't want the first one to be like, I randomize it and get AK-74 U grip. One time I ran, I was, I was, uh, I randomized a class playing split screen at a friend's house, and I actually, um, I got a one man on a new tube class, and they got really pissed off because they all got like, riot shields with worthless perks and whatnot. And I've, I've also, had, yeah, which is a pretty bad thing. Let me know if you want to see that. 200 to 196, really close game. I had 10 captures, 6 defends, 53 and 18, I think was my KD. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Let me know. Give me some ideas. Like, I love the positive feedback. And also, let me know about the uh, render settings. Bye.